to a new episode of the series Romanian History in One Out. I am Cristina Borsan-Nonca, I am researcher at the National History Museum of Romania and I will present you today the Hurduk Printing Press, an object which symbolizes the resistance of the Romanians in the front of Ceausescu communist regime. The installation for printing and scattering anti-communist manifesto was devised and operated by Valentin Hurduk. And between 1988 and 1989, he spread in public places in Bucharest more than 20,000 manifestos, printed in his own home with the help of his wife. Starting with April 1988, the manifesto took the form of a clandestine publication called Luneta, the Telescope, with, in which Nicolae Ceausescu and communist regime were criticized. Most of the manifestos were spread in public places in Bucharest with the help of so-called Kerbal bombs. To build the printing press, Valentin Hurduk used material that he took from his work because he was printer at the house of Scantea, German publishing house, where the official press was printed. Despite of the effort of the security agent, the author of the, manif of the manifesto could not be identified and arrested. In 1980s, the communist dictatorship had come to take on the most aberrant form. The permanent surveillance of the population was of the one of was one of the duties of the police called militia, and especially of the security called securitate, a repressive apparatus. The entire population of Romania felt it was being watched especially during the last years of the Ceausescu communist regime. In each institution, factory, school, faculty, university, large shop, was an agent of security who, in many cases, encouraged and rewarded snitching. Many people strongly believe that the security is watching us all. The failure of the socialist economy had serious consequences on the life of population's standards of living during the last part of the Ceausescu regime. Food shortages become chronic, and a ration card that had been used almost 13 years ago were reintroduced. In socialist Romania, in the golden age of Romania, the children were forced to learn or the light of the gas lamp or of the candles because the lack of electricity. The beloved ruler, ruler recommended citizens to add an extra coat when the decision of rationalizing heating agent and hot water was taken. The remodeling of the Romanian towns and villages was also one of the idea of Nicolae Ceausescu. 37 cities underwent demolition, some being practically destroyed and rebuilt according to the socialist style. But you know, Valentin Hurduk wasn't the only opponent of the regime. There were also Romanians who had the courage to protest. Writing, writing on the walls of institution, writing manifesto and throwing them in public places. Young or old students or factory workers, they wrote handwritten manifestos with Ceausescu, which takes again the lack of liberty, the lack of shortages, and they, they then they throwing in in public places. But they were quickly identified, arrested, and sentenced to years in prison. Their files are today in their house at the National Council 
for the study of security, perhaps. They were the heroes of those days. <laughs>